Hello there. Good morning, grade one sailors. How are you today? Great. Today, we're going to have another grammar lesson. Are you ready? Let's get started. Kindly get these materials for our lesson. Readers and Writers Notebook, English Copy Book, and Pencil. Today, we're going to do the following. Name the other examples of pronouns. Tell the usage of each pronoun. And choose the sentences that use the correct pronoun. Do you think you can do all this? Yes, you can. Our lesson for today is about more about pronouns. More about pronouns. A pronoun. Let's have a review. A pronoun is a word that takes the place of one or more nouns or names. Now, let's proceed to the other kinds of pronouns. These pronouns are me, her, him, them, you, it, and us. These pronouns are used in the action part. Is it tricky? Well, let's study more about pronouns. These pronouns are found in the action part. Let's take a look at these examples. Sarah gave me the book. Sarah gave me the book. Why did we use me instead of I. It's because the name that we are replacing is in the action part. It is after the verb. After the verb gave. Next, my teacher called her to answer. Why did we use her instead of she. Let's try she. My teacher called she to answer. Hmm, does it sound good? Definitely no, because the correct pronoun to use is her, because it is in the action part. It's not in the naming part. And it also found after the verb called, called her. Next, I will tell you a story. What is the difference with the use of you in the naming part and you in the action part? You in this sentence is used in the action part. Because you can find it after the verb tell. But you can also use you in the naming part. You can say, you will tell a story. Next, mom reads a story to us. Mom reads a story to us. Why did we use us? Why not we? It's because us is in the action part. Let's take a look at this table. All right, look at the pronouns in the naming part. For one, we have I, he, she, it, you. For more than one, we say they, we, and also you. You is used for either one or more than one. Now, 
Look at the second table. These are pronouns in the action part. In the action part, we used me, you, him, her, and it for only one. And for more than one, we use us, you, and them. To understand more about pronouns, let's watch and listen to this video. Go English. Go English. TV. Subject and object pronouns. Subject pronouns. I. I like swimming. You. You work hard. He, she, it. She reads books. We. We drink coffee. They. They go to the gym. Object pronouns. Me. John called me. You. Craig saw you. Him, her, it. Andy likes her. Us. Simon listens to us. Them. I emailed them. Subject and object pronouns review. I. Me. You. You. He, she, it. Him, her, it. We. Us. They. Them. Examples He is speaking to me. Hello. She is cooking dinner for him. They are listening to him. He is talking to them. We are in Paris with them. They are in Paris with us. GoEnglish.tv All right. Let's try to save Peter. 
how, we will click on the right option of pronoun to save Peter. Are you ready? Let's play! Peter and Blank were exploring an island. Which will complete the sentence? Is it I or me? The answer is... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Correct! I, Peter and I were exploring an island. Next, blank were watching whales when a ship appeared. Is it we were watching or us were watching? Hmm, what do you think? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! The answer is we. We were watching whales. Next, some pirates came and chased we or chase us. Hmm. Look at the verb. Chase we or chase us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Correct. The answer is... He told I or he told me that he was in danger. What is the answer? He told I or he told me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Correct. The answer is me because it is after the verb. The pirates caught he or caught him at the beach. Caught he or caught him? The answer is... What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was really afraid or... Him was really afraid. He was or him was? What do you think is the answer? The answer is... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Correct. He. He was really afraid because it is... Let's try another one. His wife was at home. I talked to blank in the evening. I talked to she or I talked to her. Hmm, what do you think? She or her? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The answer is her. I talked to her because her is in the action. Let's try another one. She or her? She was really surprised or her was really surprised? Which sounds good? Which is correct? Hmm. The answer is? Hmm. I think it's her. Let's oh my god. Let's try her. Oh my god. Oh no. Her is not the answer because her should be in the action part. The naming part. Pro oh yeah. Pronoun is next. next. They or them. They have two children. Peter was thinking of they 
or thinking of them? Look at the two options. Thinking of they or thinking of them? The answer is... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Correct. It's them. The last one. They or them. Blank live in a house on the coast. They live or them live? The answer is... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They. Because it is in the naming part. Now everybody, get your readers and writers and open it on page 559. Let's answer, let's answer some exercises. Write the pronoun that can replace the, the place of the underlined word or words. The first one. Sarah uses a lever. Which will replace the noun Sarah? Is it him or she? The answer is she. She uses a lever. Number two. Pulleys are all around. Which will replace pulleys? Take a look at the underlined word. It has S. It means more than one. Is it they or them? The answer is they. They because it's, it is the pronoun that is used in the naming part. And it's more than one. Number three. Ben helps Sarah. Which will replace the noun Ben? Is it he helps Sarah or him helps Sarah? The correct answer is he. He helps Sarah. The fourth one, Sarah sees the machines. Sarah, is it she or her? She sees or her sees? The answer is she because it is still in the naming part. Number five. Sarah likes the machines. Take a look at the underlined words. The machines. And it's found in the action part. Which is the pronoun in the action part? Is it them or they? Let's try. Sarah likes them or Sarah likes they? Which sounds good. Which is correct. It is them. Because them is the pronoun that we use for the action part. The last one. I like Ben's machine. Ben's machine. Which will replace Ben's machine? Is it her or it? The answer is it. Because it is for thing. We use it for one thing. Now, open your book on page 566. Imagine you are using a machine. Write about what happens. Use the pronouns it, he, him, she, her, I, me, we, or us. I will give you some examples and after that, you will write your own sentences. These are some samples. 
Dad and I use a machine for making a doghouse. He uses a woodcutter to cut the wood. It makes me more excited. Mom makes us a delicious snack. And the last one, we all watch our pet in the doghouse. Now it's time for you to write your own sentence. Don't forget to use the pronouns in the subject. Because it's in the action part. Tap your shoulders, everyone. You're a great sailor. That's all for today. Till next time, goodbye and thank you.